ladies, uh, please could you state your name for the folks at home? Hi, I'm Linda. Michelle. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm Nadine. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, ladies? We are from Switzerland. Switzerland? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. A neutral country, they say. <laughs> neutral. You don't really take sides in anything. And yet, <laughs> all four of you were sitting in lesbian role. Which <laughs> is Which would imply at least you have an opinion on something. <laughs> Are you here on vacation? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your impressions of the United States so far? It's quite big. <laughs> it, it is quite big, yes. It's, it's large. And um, anything else you've noticed? It's foggy. <laughs> foggy? Yes. Not all of it. San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco is indeed for. Oh, you were in San Francisco. You are, in fact, eligible to sit there, I see. <laughs> So, do you have uh, the late night television shows in uh, Switzerland? No. No, not so <laughs> Sounds like Shangri-La, really, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. What do you girls do? Do you, uh, do you, you go to college? Yeah. University. Yeah. University. University. Yeah, it starts in September. It starts in September. So that would make you... Young. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. <laughs> I think I played this one rather well, Jeff, don't you? Easy, pal, careful. Yeah, no, no, no. No, I think it's all right. I haven't done anything remotely predatory or creepy. Maybe a little creepy, but I can't help that. It's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what's going on here with the robot? We're deconstructing the, you know, the traditions of late night. But you don't have a tradition of late night in Switzerland, so this is meaningless to you. <laughs> yeah. Are you frightened of the uh, skeleton at all? No. no. Nice. He yeah. is very nice, actually. He's very nice. Well, I can see how you've managed to keep yourself out a couple of wars. <laughs> Sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I have to stop you there. We've got some very questionable material we have to get through this evening. This show is crap, so we better get it started. <laughs> no, it's a very bad one. It's going to be a rough one tonight. So I'm figuring that, you know, the sooner we get started, the sooner you can get on to the great show that's coming on after this. <laughs> In your region. Which is probably an infomercial. So, look, it could be worse. It could be an infomercial. Actually, no, because an infomercial would be better than this, because then you might find something useful. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to be so down on myself. I don't want to go down on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, thanks to Kundalini Yoga, <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.
Looking good. You look good, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, you look good. So you, look, you, pal. Yeah, you look good. I, you, you, I, have you buttoned your jacket tonight? Yeah, yeah. I decided to get all sharped up nice. for tonight's show. No, you look, you look like a kind of thin white Mr. T. <laughs> Ooh, I'm all moist. <laughs> Told you it's going to be a bad one. Anyway, it's. <laughs> It's a great day for America because, of course, the new cast of Dancing with the Stars has been revealed. Hooray! <laughs> I am surprised I thought you were going to be involved. I'm so upset. <laughs> I really am. This is just bullcrap. <laughs> bullcrap? Bullcrap. Uh, okay. That's an acceptable way of saying another word. <laughs> like, yeah. To be fair, I did provoke the robot. <laughs> provoke the robot? Is that code? Mm, I sure hope so. <laughs> anyway, the cast of Dancing with the Stars was revealed, and yes, the rumors are true. I was indeed approached to be a, a, a contestant, but it fell apart because they used a, a word I'd never heard of before, rehearsal. I'm like, no! <laughs> well, you mean, you go there and you do it, but it's, that's not actually the show, that's just a practice show? No! <laughs> But they have got big names this season. They've got that guy from that thing. And uh, they've got the annoying chick who gets on everyone's nerves. And they've, <laughs> they've got... Uh, they have a Kardashian, of course. Now, it's one of the male Kardashians, and it's not Chloe. I'm like, what? <laughs> it, no, it's a male... <laughs> I didn't even know that. It's like the forgotten Marx Brothers or something, isn't it? And, like, there's a male Kardashian? What, Zeppo Kardashian? <laughs> Anyway, it's uh, very bad news uh, for a police officer today in New Mexico who was suspended after he was caught having sex on the hood of his car in broad daylight. <laughs> well, honey, you may well make noises like that. <laughs> and it just uh, goes to show you, I will do anything to get out of a ticket. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day if you like the uh, happy summertime reading, because in bookstores today, I've been looking forward to this for years now, Dick Cheney's memoir, In My Time. Actually, it came out at midnight, which was about 38 minutes ago in your region. <laughs> 40 minutes ago, uh, anyway. No, this is a big deal in Washington. In Washington, D.C., this is like a Harry Potter book coming out. There's like, all, you know, round the blocks from the bookstores, there's angry old men all lined up, all wearing bald caps and shocking each other's nipples, <laughs> waterboarding each other and going, ah! <laughs> then they heard about Cheney's book coming out. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Yeah, good yeah. one, pal. Uh -huh. uh, you ever been down to D.C.? Oh, hell yeah, I got a place You there. got a place out in D.C.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like to throw beads and go waterboarding and, yeah, shock my nipples. <laughs> anyway, Cheney's making all the rounds to promote the book. This morning he did the Today Show with Matt Lauer. We got a clip of that. Let's take a look at this. On a personal note, in the book you write about the hunting accident where you accidentally shot your friend Harry Whittington. How did it make you feel when that incident was turned into a punchline for late night comics? Was that you? Did you invite Aqualad to be on? Call me. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about... <laughs> do you ever do something and then just hate yourself? Like, I just did a, that little laugh I did there, like... <laughs> like that. I'm like, oh, man, what that, you phony... <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about... <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I'm talking about Dick Cheney. Anyway, I saw, I, when I saw Cheney was in the news, I'm like, whoa, I, I thought he'd join Dancing with the Stars. But it turns out they already have a, an opinionated dude who everyone hates, Ricky Lake. <laughs> it's a joke! I like Ricky Lake! <laughs> 
That was great. <laughs> anyway, look, uh, uh, Dick Cheney's birth name is, of course, Richard. But I always uh, found it interesting that he prefers Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't touch me, can you? Eh? <laughs> By the way, prefers Dick is the name of. Well, never mind. I would. Uh, I'd like to read Cheney's book, but it's nearly 600 pages long. And if I read a, a book, then that go more than five pages without a sexy vampire, I'm like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> But supposedly the book has shocking revelations. Reviewers say that it shows a new Cheney. He's uh, apologetic, remorseful, and sensitive to the people who disagreed with him. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> nah, he goes, he goes after his old enemies like they're lawyers on a quail hunt. You know, he... <laughs> He, he bitch slaps Donald Rumsfeld and Colin Powell and John McCain, even George Bush's dog, Barney. He says, he does, he says, that little bastard was leaving dirty bombs all over the White House. <laughs> and so was Barney. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to get that book then? You're going to read Cheney's book? Oh, hell yeah. I'm going oh. to get in line, man. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think you followed politics much. You, you follow politics? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm huge into politics. Really? No. <laughs> I was going to say, what, what, are you a Republican, Democrat, or something else entirely? I'm a gay robot. <laughs> I see. So, you're a Democrat. <laughs> Why is that joke? Oh, my Lord, lay it up! <laughs> I like when you shake your arms around like that. <laughs> yeah, join me. Come yeah. on. <laughs> this is on TV right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's the middle of the night. No one gives a. Do the thing with the commercial. All right. right. Coming up after the break, it's an all-new episode of GP and the Fergs. They're the baddest dudes with the biggest guns. That's code for penises. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the show that's uh, pretty neutral tonight. We're being pretty, uh... <laughs> Weren't these young women delightful, uh, Jeff? They were a delight. They were. They were I mean, I, I would be so proud. Any one of these girls was out representing me in the world. And they love... I mean, Switzerland, you must be very happy. These young women, uh, very agreeable young ladies, uh, not, not being foolish, no, no nonsense going on there. <laughs> no, sh no shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, hey, you remember the email that I was going to read and then I'm not going to read? And I, I spiked it and then it's kind of like, oh, it's a tease. Will I read it? Will I not read it? Well, I'm not going to read it. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I will. No, I'm teasing you. <laughs> 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 I think what it's, if I'm a Swiss teenager and I'm seeing this happening and I have no frame of reference, I'm like, what the Tootsie Fruits is that? <laughs> Please don't worry, there are many people across the United States going, what the Tootsie Fruits is that? <laughs> All right, um, you want to do the... Uh... Oh, sure. Yeah. It's time to unzip the mail sack and bust out the tweets. That's code for boobies. <laughs> Well, 
Now, you're not going to believe this, but it's true. This is from Daniel, right? This, this Tweedy. I've just picked it up, or an email, and it's from Bern in Switzerland! <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Do you got, do you, anybody know Daniel in Bern? <laughs> I think they were like, mm, no, no. <laughs> But we gave it some thought, and no, we don't. <laughs> uh, dear Craig and Jeff, says Daniel, I've just had surgery and now have a big scar in my throat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any cool stories I could tell where the scar comes from? Yeah, you say you, uh, you, you upset a pirate. <laughs> Make up your own lies about your scar. I got a scar in the back of my hand there. See that scar here like that? See that? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it in the light. Can you see it? I uh, know. Well, there's a scar there anyway. You're just going to have to take it. <laughs> a scar right there. And what I do is, you know, I tell people that I was in a bar once and someone stabbed my hand uh, at the start of a bar fight. No, that's not true. <laughs> I got it from punching a window in a bar fight. <laughs> now, here's the problem. The window was, in fact, neutral. <laughs> but sometimes when a fight starts, you just don't know where it's going to end up. Apparently, it's not going to end up in Switzerland, but it's certainly going to end up. Uh, in, uh, I punched a window. I, I threw a punch, and the person I was throwing it at uh, happened to be a little quicker and uh, more athletic and a better fighter than me. They, were, they moved out of the way, I punched the window, then they moved in. <laughs> and that's how this finger is broken right here. See this finger? That was broken. Now, the interesting story about this finger is that my son, who was not involved in the bar fight, he's 10 years old, <clears throat> And it was not born until many years after the bar fight. His finger is also broken in the same place, except he's never broken his finger. I was punched so hard. <laughs> that my unborn son, 10 years before his birth, went, ow. <laughs> Any interesting stories about how you got a scar or anything? The hell's going on? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> down a story, just, you know. No, no scars, I just died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it a bar fight? Uh, no, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I got in a bar fight with a, with a, with a squirrel. A squirrel? Yes, yeah, a squirrel attacked me. I was eating these bar nuts and this burl, uh, the, this, this burl, yeah. Burl Ives walked in while I was fighting. Hey, wait, wait, you have to hear this. I'm sorry to interrupt your really great story, but... I was in the grocery store the other day. You know who I saw at the salad bar? Winfred Brimley! <laughs> at the salad bar! <laughs> Winfred Brimley! Cocoon! <laughs> at the salad bar, helping himself to salad. I thought, doesn't he have diabetes? <laughs> 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 Did he yell at you about diabetes? <laughs> like he does in those commercials? <laughs> I want you to pick up the phone right now. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to go over and say, good for you, Wilfred Brimley, you're getting salad because you've got diabetes. <laughs> hey, why the hell are you staring at me while I'm at the salad bar? <laughs> took a photograph on her iPhone. <laughs> She's like, what for Brimley? He's like, ah! I'm a decent man. I'm trying to eat a salad here. <laughs> Snapping your damn photos. I got diabetes. <laughs> anyway, look, if you have got diabetes, uh, salad's the way to go, I think. That's one of the... If you have diabetes, Wilford Brimley's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> tonight is a very talented actor. He's a good friend of this show. He's enormous and he uh, smells a bit like lavender. <laughs> <laughs> is it Wilford Brimley? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, Wilford could be here. He's at the salad bar. Leave me alone. <laughs> what the hell, man? When did I become a target? 
Please welcome Chai McBride, everybody. Still here, I'm still fooling them. Hey, um, you ever been to Switzerland? No, never. You should go, they're very nice people. I've just met four of them, they were lovely. Yeah, but you go over there and can't nobody make a decision about nothing. No, that's, you know that's I mean? a myth. Look, look, the Swiss have given us fantastic chocolate. And, cheese. Uh, cheese. Watches. Uh, watch. You're ahead of me, man. It's like you know Switzerland. Knives. Are you, when did you become fascinated with Switzerland? Just now. <laughs> They have the Swiss Army pen knife. That's awesome. You get your little magnifying glass and your thing for taking, you know. What? What's this? <laughs> I don't know. I started doing that and I forgot what I was doing. Well, you know, speaking of this, I, I saw this thing that the, the, the lady on the, the aerial gave you. The oh, walrus the, thing? Yeah, no, Ariel Tweeto, who's on later. Yeah. Uh, the last time she was here, because she, she's, you know, she's from Alaska. Right. She's from Unicleet in Alaska. It's right. a very small town. She brought me a walrus penis the last time she was here. That's what I heard. But when I was talking to somebody about it, they said, well, it's good. It's up in Craig's office, which is on the third floor. It's really secure, so nobody can take it. Yeah. You know, but who the hell is coming over here calling their homeboy on the phone going, hey, man, you know I'm over at Craig Ferguson's, man. Oh, really? He got any walrus penis, man? <laughs> Grab that, man, grab that, bring it home, bring it home. <laughs> Who's doing that? You'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I had, uh, the, 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 anat the anatomy, though, of the walrus differed to us, though. I mean, the walrus, ha it's an actual bone. It's, a, it, it, it's not like... So it, when they call it a boner, it's, it's a like real, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, so, you know, it's funny that you should bring out walruses. I was just talking about Wilfred Brimley. You know his moustache. Dude. <laughs> Will, you better not mess with Wilfred. Wilfred, he's I, a crotchety old bastard. You don't want to mess with him. No, listen, I am not disrespecting him. I was just amazed at the random sighting of such an iconic figure in my local supermarket. Uh, Marpet. I, uh, right. I was, was like, wow, Wilfred, do you never see that? Was he eating some instant oatmeal? No, no, no. He was at the salad bar. He was getting his fiber, though. Yo, he was getting his fiber, right. yeah, for sure. Roughage and fiber. Yeah, you need like that. that. Yeah. But, um, do you ever, you ever get that in L.A.? Do you ever see somebody go, wow, I can't believe I'm seeing that person doing a normal thing? Well, I mean, but when I ever see people, it's somebody really old and nobody recognizes. Like, one time I was getting a manicure and Gene Barry was in there and all the people in the audience were like, who in the hell is that? So, he used to be on this show called Bat Masterson. Like, when I was a kid, oh. when TV was still black and white, you know? Uh, yeah. And I saw him, and he was just so thrilled that I recognized him, because, you know, Gene Barry go anywhere. It ain't like a mob is going to gather, you know what I mean? Uh, I think the real story is, you were getting a manicure? <laughs> yeah, man, you know, I got to, you know, look good. You, you know, know you you're... seen my wife. You see how pretty uh, that girl yeah, is. You I've know, seen I got to keep very... myself up. Yeah, I mean, she'd let the nails go a little bit. She, but she... Let me tell I you. Can I see how nice you are? Go ahead, see how nice my nails. Well, they cannot. They, they not that. Don't come in close. No. Ah, uh, whoop your ass. Don't come in close. Because they're not done yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, women Do you don't get... like you having them. And, and you got to get your feet done. You, know you get you... your feet? You got a mani pedi? Yo, <laughs> ladies in the audience, you ever been in the bed with your man and he got them grizzly claws? <laughs> you don't like that, right? So you see? Well, but you women get like clippers. You don't have to go to a salon. You can just get the thing and clip them. Do you know what we well, call just that? Just get like a buzz saw. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what we call that in my house? What? Hobo feet. Nice. Yeah. Nice. There you go. You know you hobo feeted me last night. Dude. Yeah. yeah. And, and when men let their feet go, it's like they've been walking on the sidewalk everywhere for their whole life. You know what I mean? You, you get long, crusty nails. You got to get like garden shears to. <laughs> Well, you sparks know. be flying off. No, and no, all you that. don't want any of that. No, you don't want any of that. Hey, I saw you at the Winnie the Pooh premiere. Dude, yeah. by the way, Miles, my, my, my little boy, he's three, his name's Miles, and he met, you know, Craig, and he, he, I, I told him I was coming here tonight, and yeah. I said, I'm going to see, I'm going to see Mr. Ferguson tonight, and I said, he said, who? I said, um, Mr. Ferguson, he said, do you remember the guy who was the voice of the owl to me? He said, I want to go. He threw a fit, man. Oh, really? Because I couldn't bring him today because he wanted to come and see you. Well, I think he's going to be disappointed when he doesn't, you know, I don't have any feathers on. I've got some feathers, you know. <laughs> no, but I mean, he gets it because I'm on TV, right, so right. he understands what it right. is. I mean, the first time I was on television, he was just sitting there playing, and he looks at the TV, then he looked back at me, then he looks at the TV, 
And you can see that. Yeah, yeah, what wait you, what you, a minute. This? You know, but he gets it now. You know, I got that with my, my youngest boy is eight months old, right? right. right. Yeah, that's right. The baby, you had the baby <laughs> So I'm, I'm standing, he likes to stand in front of the mirror, right. right? So I'm standing in the hall and he's looking in the mirror and he looks at himself and he's like, oh, I'm so awesome. I'm so awesome. <laughs> and he's looking at himself and I'm like, whoa, kid, you got a creepy big head. And he's like, oh. <laughs> And then he goes like that. He's looking at himself and he looks at me in the mirror and then he goes. <laughs> and he figured it out. Yeah. He figured out the mirror. I'm like, yeah. I'm so proud of you, son. You're almost there. I just, yeah. I, I just, I love being at home with him and I love taking him to school because the children, man, they just, they just extend your life, man. They I believe so the children are the future. Happiness. Teach them well and, and let them lead them. the way. Right, right, right. right. Show, Show them, them all the beauty, beauty they possess, that they possess inside. inside. Give them a sense of pride, bra. man. Yeah. Make it easier. Yeah, well, I, Let the children laugh. Don't have them crying and all. Good. Let them laugh. Let them laugh. Uh, you've lost me now. That's all I got. Yeah. Man. I remember long ago, never to walk in it. Well, yeah, yeah. That's good, though. I like that you can do that with song lyrics. Well, you got to be able to think quick on your feet in the show business. No, man. I like to rehearse everything, get it down. <laughs> Get everything set so you know what's going to happen. Everything's right, laid out. Right. The guy who's doing the timing's got no pressure on him at all. Everything's easy. Hey, did you say Dancing with the Stars? They yeah, got did the you new... do that? N Hell no. <laughs> Whenever you see the word star or celebrity in a show, be yeah. assured you ain't going to see neither one. No, that's true, yeah. And who in the hell is Rob Kardashian? Well, he's kind of like, you know, you ever see the Marx Brothers movie? Or you know when uh, the Three Stooges went to Shemp? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like Shemp He's Kardashian. He's like Shemp Kardashian, yeah. But they got so many of them. You got Kim and, 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 um, what's the one that looked like Frankenberry? Chloe? Yeah. Chloe, and, and then they got... Put her picture next to Frankenberry and yeah. see what happens. Can you do that? You, you, there's no way you can do that, is there? Well, you can do it when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see. We'll try and do it. We'll try and do it later on in the show. Exactly. We'll get a picture of Frank. Do we, can we say Frank and Barry? I don't know if we can. We have to give some money to General Mills. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's the, uh, CBS like to have it a completely different way, that we say it and they give us money. That's oh, it. Yeah. okay. Well, my bad, CBS. Yeah. So what's, we're out of time. You know that. You, we should plug something. You want to plug um, anything? I'm going home after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair. Okay, okay. No, come on now. It's a uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or touch my glittery ball, or um, that's about it. All of them sound like awkward pause. Yeah. So I'm gonna take awkward pause. All right. Well, we're, I'm trying a new awkward pause okay. technique. Uh, it's still awkward pause. Right. But during the awkward pause, I'll try and sneak a look at your genitals. Good. <laughs> Good. Which makes you feel a little more awkward. Oh, okay, cool, all right, all right. cool, cool, cool. Are you ready? Yeah. Swiss edition of the. Uh... <laughs> the hell, I'm not Swiss. <laughs> it's the right thing to do and the tasty way to do it. My next guest, a very beautiful young woman. She stars in Flying Wild Alaska, which is a great show. I watch it. It's not even on CBS, where all the other great shows are. Uh... <laughs> Season two will premiere in November on the Discovery Channel. Take a look at this. Please welcome the adorable Ariel Tweedo, everybody. Fantastic! You look great. You. you look like you've got a kind of science fiction thing going on. Really? Yeah, I like it. I know, it. I took a shower today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you look great. I think I like the bracelet and the dress and it's all, yeah. You're going for like a sweet, feminine, flirty, <laughs> mod something. Yeah, you're, you're driving Swiss lesbian row wild. Really? Jeff? Where's Jeff? 
Hey. 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 Hi, how are you? Good. Ooh. Ooh. Hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Listen, uh, is that a new narrator on the show? I have no idea. It sounded like a new voice. It sounded like a, uh, I don't know if it's new, but it sounded like the, the Tweedo oh, woman no. are having a good time. Oh, actually, what? No, what? actually, the new narrator, I was walking down Hollywood Boulevard, and then I was talking on my phone, and then this guy turned around, he was like, Ariel? And I was like, I have no idea. Weird dude. Guy. Yeah. He was like younger, long hair, and he was like, I'm narrating your show. He did the first episode. He was like narr narrating it the next day, and he recognized me by my voice, and so I met him. His name's like Jack or something. That's almost as good as the story I told earlier about Gan. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's such a small world, though. I Look, met our narrator. It's tight. Yeah. Although L.A., to be fair, is a little bigger than Unicleet, Alaska. Though. I know. Unicleet's smaller. There's like one road. It's like a mile long. It's pretty small. I know. I, I, I always think the, the idea of being there seems very romantic, though. It seems like a love... No? No. No, come on now. If you, like, romance with your cousins and... <laughs> I don't know. You can't... I don't know. It's not I'm romantic. I'm from if... Scotland. <laughs> Scotland. No, oh, you should go to Scotland. It's nice. It's kind of like Alaska, but warmer. Yeah. yeah. And you Scottish men have accents. I like accents. Some of them do. Yeah, some of them. I, I'm, I'm the only one who doesn't. I know. <laughs> no, the, the, well, you should go there. That would be, a, you could fly. Did you get your pilot's license yet? I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> what? Season two. Watch oh, season two. I, I see. know. I could say that it, there's been a lot of scary moments and amazing moments and crazy moments, but. What the hell happened to you, girl? You sound like some Hollywood <laughs> publicity machine. I, know. I can't. I'm just not allowed to, like, yeah, give no, it away. Yeah, no, I get it. I understand. How are your pilot's license? Well, it's all right. I still have my pilot's license, although there's been a lot of scary moments and yeah. horrifying <laughs> moments. And... I know. Yeah. It's so fun being in the air, though. I just. It's nice, but I have to say, even now, even after getting my license and going on, and doing my instrument rating. I'm still, I still can get a little upset when it gets too bumpy. I'm like, I, I don't like this. I know, you get queasy. Yeah, I get, well, I'm, no, I just, I get nervous. I think, oh, oh what, come on now. I know, I'm, I get sick, like, swinging on a swing. Like, I get the worst motion sickness ever. I get boat sick, car sick, seasick. But you should I get stay still, stay still. Sick, don't thing. go anywhere, sit I down. Know, I'm, I'm always, like, bouncing around. My friends are like, only have two cups of coffee today. You don't drink anything else, because I'm always just like, oh, Do you oh, drink oh. a lot of coffee? To stay warm in Alaska, I drink probably like, like a, um, what are they, like a full pitcher? No, bigger than that. Me, what? And my, me and my mom could like chug coffee, but I just like it because you have to have you something to warm get in your some, hand. Get meth. Do, do some <laughs> meth. <That's... laughs> no, this season to stay warm. Do you know those little like heat packages that you have to shake to stay warm? Whoa. <laughs> no, no. So I would get like Whoa. tape Whoa. and tape myself. Young lady, I'm <laughs> twice your age. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, but you, so I would like tape myself up with the heat packages and like you have to like hit yourself all over to stay like activated. Who told you that? I, it's freezing. You well, that's what something. you do. You cover yourself in heat packages <laughs> and then. And you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing, yeah. <laughs> Not a word. Not a word. Not a word. I Not didn't say word. anything. Yeah, all right. Do it yeah. again. Do it again. <laughs> Now, uh, but have you moved here then? Have you become huh? an L.A. person? Um, no, I'm not an L.A. person. I no. come back and forth. I'm here a lot. There's been a lot of, like, crazy stuff that's happened. And What, what and happened? Not, it's not crazy, but I've had a lot of firsts. Like, I had my first honking experience. Like, I'm from a village where no one drives, like, trucks. So you don't just, like, go around the village and honk. Oh, so, I see. Someone honked you? No, I honked at someone. What the hell? Oh, no. no, okay, so most calm person and usually like I'm just laid back and my dad like taught us that if people are in front of you what if there's a little baby or like a wedding right, cake right, so you don't right. want to like rush him your dad's a very wise man oh he is wise so I was <laughs> late for a meeting I was late for a meeting and then some guy like cut me off and by this point I was like oh, I can't be late for the meeting so I tried to like hit my horn miss the horn and so by then it was like four seconds later by the time I found it so I honked and it was like a delayed thing so the guy's like, that didn't even what make the hell? sense. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what a waste of a first honk. Uh, yeah, I know. And then, the, to make the matters worse, I pulled up to a, like, a red light. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, God, he's looking at me. So I tried to like go behind him so you can't like look at each other. Yeah, oh, I know and then I like yeah. dropped a penny and was looking for it so I didn't have to make eye contact. Drop, you don't have to drop the penny. Just, you can just go. I need yeah. something. I need, I need it. He can't tell if you've dropped a penny. It's not like he went, oh, I heard a penny drop. What's going on? <laughs> And then, like, we were sitting by each other, and I was just like, oh, man, I don't want to look at him. And he was this older guy, sort of looked like you. Wilfred Brimley? 
<laughs> Looks like me. No. <laughs> no. No, but then, yeah, so it was just a waste of a first honk. I'm going to do it over, but get it right. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much stock by it. Yeah. You'll, get, you'll get the hang of it as time goes on. You'll remember to honk at the right moment. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel the need to honk. because You shouldn't honk. Yeah. It's dangerous. There's a is lot it? of crazy people out there who don't understand that honking is a friendly way of saying, get the croissant out of my way. <laughs> Just like go up to the people and if you cut them off and you smile and just that just annoys uh, people. Ah yes, living well yeah. is the best revenge. It is. I'm sure your father would tell you that. He's a wise <laughs> man. He is. You, yeah. you need to meet him. I would like to meet your dad. I'm, I'm a great admirer of your father. I think he's a fantastic pilot. He is. And, and I like what he's, he's done in, in Alaska with that airline. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Good things. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't bring any fish this time. I didn't. I was... The, you know that fish you brought the last time? It was off. Off. You, yeah, you know, uh, what do you call it? Off. Uh, it was, <laughs> the, I, I think it must have got opened on the way it was a little can of... No, it wasn't open. Whatever, you couldn't even open it. I had to open it for you. Hey! <laughs> no, it, was, it just it smelled bad. It was like one in a million can that stinks that bad, and I brought you that one, but yeah. I didn't bring anything this time, so... I've still got the time. walrus penis. Though. Really? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw Shy. Yeah. If, if someone steals it, I'll go hunt him down no, and take no. it back for you, because that's good luck. Back in the knife drawer, Miss Sharp, everything is cool. It's uh, actually above my, there's a door to my, I call it an office, it's really a closet with a desk in it, but they, but above the door of my office, it's hanging up there. It's, it's up it's there. It's a big, it's big a bone. big old boner right above my. <laughs> what did your wife think of it? She thought it looked kind of small. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. So funny. That's it. You set me up. You see what she did there? She set me up there like that. That's what I put. Hey. I got your back. I got your back. Yeah, you're, you, I think you'd do very well over at that podium area. Only the people that would like you. You're attractive. You're funny. I think you're right. There's <laughs> <laughs> some new thing he's got. He's a stage he's going through. He likes to do a horn noise. I'm honking. Oh, he's honking. He's having a Why are you honking? <laughs> Is that the sound you have in your car? It, might, it is like that. It's a little bug, so it's like, his name's Millie. Oh, you have and, a name for your car? Yeah, you have to What is this, the car. 1950s? Yeah, it's a little bug, and so I named it Millie. It okay. just looks like a Millie car, and then the horn is just, it's just like, huh. Oh, yeah. Jeff, would you? Can you do it again? Yeah. Like that, but like a little bit higher. And well, you can't go high. I know, you can't. Yeah. Oh, man. Listen, we're out of time. Uh, okay. What do you want? Uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, touch my glittery ball. You can only do awkward pause, so you might as well just Can we dance? Um, sea biscuit. Sea bi You mean secretariat? Secretariat, the horns, the horns. Sea biscuit. Don't even sea, know. Sea biscuit? Sometimes I feel like I don't know you, Aaron. No, no, let's get him out. Oh, uh, well, I don't know if he's available. Let's uh, see who's that. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. It's GP and the Ferg's epilogue. <sighs> Tell you what I learned tonight, buddy. What's that, pal? Well, two things. One, never go to the salad bar when Wilfred Brimley is there. <laughs> Well, you said it. And the other one, apparently, Chloe Kardashian looks like Frankenberry. Well, that's all right, pal. Because no matter what they take from us, they can't take away my dignity. <laughs> Let me just see uh, Frankenberry and Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> Freeze frame high five, GP.